Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year from the Watercolor Aficionados. So today, um, we are going to paint bridges. And with me right now is Michelle. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. And Nina. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. And I am now bringing in the subscribers from the Zoom then chat. Then the big question that hadn't been answered, what is the underlying geometry of the universe? OK, good morning, subscribers. <laughs> what is the underlying geometry of the universe? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ricky. What are you listening into? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so today we are going to um, paint bridges. So um, for January, uh, our theme, as you can see, I followed the New Year um, theme. So we have a yellow and a gray background for our um, teaser or at our banner for the year. So we thought of bridges because we are bringing in, um, we are bridging from 2020 to 2021. And we are still in the pandemic and um, hopefully we'll have all the vaccine and this virus won't mutate anymore so that we can go back to our normal activities. So for now, um, while we are still in the midst of the pandemic, we are, still painting. We would like to continue painting and we would like to um, enjoy what we can do with um, the different, uh, our theme for watercolor aficionados. So um, we're going to start with Michelle. She is going to have um, Romantic Bridge followed by yours truly with the Rainbow Bridge. And lastly with Nina with um, her bridge silhouette. Okay, so the prices for this month's um, theme would be light pads. So light pads are tracing pads. So you can use it to trace difficult, um, difficult drawing. So if you're having a hard time um, sketching, it's a very great tool. So I have one for the members and one for the subscribers differing in the size, okay? Then of course, you have your January challenge wherein we'll be giving away, uh, what you call that, and half, a half sheet of, half sheet watercolor size, watercolor paper size. It's a very nice drawing set. And um, we also have some masking fluid with it, rubbers, eraser, and a masking tape. So I hope you'll join the giveaway and you will be challenged with this month's the, uh, theme on bridges. So um, I would like to make Michelle my co-host, also um, Nina, so that I can focus on their close camera. So I'll be bringing um, Michelle. So she will be your host. And I will remove myself from the spotlight. Take away, it, Michelle. <laughs> Good morning again, everyone. Before I start, I just want to share this really nice package from Hazel Scott BH. Okay, she um she actually sent this in um last month. Okay, so this okay. So for today. What we want you to do is on our Facebook group. Okay, um, everyone who's watching right now, please comment, like just say hi or happy new year. And then we, everyone who would comment on this live demo will be listed in our wheel of names. And later on, we will have a raffle. Okay, so what's inside this really, really nice pretty box? I'm gonna show you. Okay, so these tiny, Tin cans. Okay, it has three tiny tins. Okay. Each tiny tin actually has, it's perfect for those who are, um, who do a lot of um, painting while they're 
for example, in a cafe or outside with friends. Okay. So each tin has two palettes inside. Okay. And then there's also this teeny tiny knapsack. So cute, so cute. Okay. Inside the knapsack, there's also another tin. Okay, it's slightly bigger than the one that I showed earlier, but it has the same content. And then there's also this really nice uh, mixing palette. Okay, in the shape of the knapsack. Okay. And then, okay, this is actually really nice. It's not connected to art, but um, it's super nice. This kit actually has three um, handmade soaps, okay? So actually they smell really nice. So there you go. Self-love and self-care all in one package. So again, all you need to do is just comment, just say hi, say hi on our live demo um, on Facebook and we will add you to our wheel of names to be raffled later on, okay? So now I'm ready to actually do my demo. <laughs> okay, so for today, let me just spotlight my... How do I spotlight my own? Turn on your video first. Oh, it's on already. Your video is on? Wait. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Yon. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so this is my demo piece. Okay. So we're going to paint this. This is very simple. Um, I just wanted something very light and simple for today's demo. So um, what we're going to need are your watercolor paper. This is 300 GSM. And then um, your craft tape or masking tape, whichever one you have. Um, an eraser, a pencil, any, any regular eraser or pencil, um, a flat brush for, the, uh, for wetting the paper, a uh, fan brush, and an angular brush, okay? So if you don't have any of these, it's fine. We can actually use the usual round brushes. Um, but of course, it would be better if your round brushes are like sized accordingly. So for wetting your paper, um, get your bigger hand uh, round brushes ready. And then for the trees, you can have the medium sized ones, etc. okay? The palette that I'm using now, I usually use my Shin Han watercolors, but right now I just want to use this um, set of handmade watercolors from Adi. Okay, it's called Adi's Artlets. Um, every once in a while, whenever I just want to feel good, okay, I, I get my, my, a particular set of watercolors. So this is my feel good set as of now, okay? All right, so of course we need to have our rinse bottle with clean water. Okay, so now I'm ready to start, okay? So first, let's draw the bridge. Everything else we don't need to draw. We just need to draw the outline of the bridge, okay? So identify the half, okay? The middle part, and then just go a little beneath it, okay? So just put a marker, okay, on either side, and then the bridge is actually a bit curved. So add another marker here that's slightly higher than these two markers and then connect them. Okay. 
Now let's draw the bottom of the bridge. Okay, it's going to be sort of a semicircle. When you're drawing straight on your um, on your paper without any like tools like the light box that Beth was mentioning earlier, okay, um, it's best if you draw with very light marks only, so that when you do make erasures, there's no hard marks um, left on your paper. Okay, so here, it's not a perfectly shaped um, bridge because it's actually a bit angled. So, so you can see I'm making erasures. Eraser is your best friend actually. It helps you um, well, it helps you make um, corrections, definitely, but also it allows you to freely sketch without the fear of making mistakes. And so sketching actually becomes less stressful. I know that for most watercolorists, um, a lot of us prefer not to sketch, right? So. Okay, so this is the base of our bridge, okay? And then next we're going to... Um, Michelle? Yes? Can you show the output? Some of the... Some of the subscribers are asking there. They like to see the final painting output. Ah, okay. Maybe I could have it side by side as I draw so that you can draw with me like that. Okay. There. Okay. Can everybody see? Thank you. Okay. All right. So after we've drawn the base, next we are going to draw the poles okay so there's one two three four five okay i usually start from the middle okay and then since this bridge is actually curved your poles should not be aligned so the middle one would be the highest point and then these two would be a little lower and then the, these two also will be lower than the second set, okay? So, all right. So once you've drawn the poles, okay, you'll see that we also have, we also show, it's like a blurred vision, okay? So the two, the, the, the opposing poles can also be seen because we are actually from a uh, slight angle. So we're going to add these poles that are um, what do you call that that are behind them okay so we're going to add the, those poles as well and the next the frame so this is actually very simple you just connect the poles and then do an X for each, okay? So don't connect them at the tip 
exactly leave us uh, like a very, very small space so that we also have space for the, um, the sort of ball type of figure at the top. Okay, now for these, this part, it's going to be um, flat, okay? So it's going to be um, a straight square type of figure, as, uh, unlike these ones that are angled, okay? And then now I'm going to draw the, uh, the excess. Okay, now not to not confuse myself, I won't do, uh, I won't draw the X twice, okay? I will just add um, this, this part, the, the Xs, the parts behind the, the ones that are facing us. I will just draw them after, um, wh while I'm painting, okay? I won't draw them right now because it will just confuse me, okay? So, we're actually done with the uh, with most of the bridge. We just need to add these details below. Okay, so it's like the support part of the bridge. So just um, three lines underneath at the center. Okay, and then another line here. Okay, and then three more lines here at the sides. Okay, All right. So we're actually done with the sketch part, okay? For the trees, we don't need to sketch. All right. Going to allow you a few more seconds to just finish your sketching and then we can go ahead and start painting. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is wet the paper. Okay, so with my flat brush, I'm just wetting my paper. Okay, now at this point, I will just wet the paper up to the um, base of the bridge so it uh so if i do paint it's the paint will not bleed until that part okay okay now I forgot to activate my watercolors, but that's fine. Let me just put some drops of water on my pans. Okay. So at this point, let me just show you, okay. The entire part is wet, okay. But here, okay. So you just have to make sure that everything is completely wet, okay. And then it's only up to this part, okay? So now I'm ready to start painting. So I'm just going to dip my flat brush into my um, orange color. So I forgot to mention the colors, okay? So basically just grab any orange, pink, and greens that you have plus some um, browns 
And I'm also going to add a little bit of gray in this portion. Okay. So we're now ready to add our trees. Okay, so just directly from the pan, since we're going to do wet on wet, we can um, just grab paint directly from the pan onto the wet paper and just use this corner of your um, flat brush to dab onto the paper, okay? So it's that easy. There. Then rinse your brush. Okay, now I'm going to add my pink tree. Okay, so again, just directly from the pan. Okay. You can use any cotton candy color that you have in your set. Or if not, you can mix your own. Um, like for example, opera pink and some cadmium yellow would be a nice salmon color. Okay, so there you have it. And then I'm going to add some greens in the middle. Okay, there you go. So at this point, I'm done with the base color for our trees. Now we can go ahead and paint the lake beneath the bridge. So I'm just rinsing my water, uh, my brush. <laughs> and then I don't even have to get some clean water because this is my, my water is not yet muddy, so I'm just going to use my rinse water for the lake. Okay, so we're not going to paint all throughout the bottom part, okay? We're going to leave the bridge dry so the paint won't bleed through it. Okay. So at this point, I'm just going to use the same um, mint green or moss green, I think. this moss green color now why didn't i just paint wet on dry that's because i want the color to be very light when i add it and i also uh, find it like again I, I i really just wanted to paint something very relaxing so I find that when you paint wet on wet, it's really very soothing. So that's it. Okay. All right. So after that, okay, just rinse your brush and then grab some gray. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to lightly add some stripes to the river, okay? And as we go along, okay, we'll try not to reload our brush so that it goes lighter as it goes farther away. Okay. 
So starting from here, okay, just lay your flat brush on the paper and just swoop, okay? And then after, after this portion, okay, here I'm just going to use the corner again of my brush so that it's not so wide. The stripe would not be so wide. So at this point, I'm going to leave some, um, some space here. Okay, and we're going to do some alternating stripes. Okay, just like that. Okay. Now at this point, okay, the next steps would be wet on dry. So I'm going to speed up the drying process with my blower. While I'm doing this, okay, let me just remind everyone, if you have just um, started watching us, okay, on our Facebook live demo video, just say hi, okay, just leave a comment there so that you can be included in our raffle at the end of the demo. Okay. Hi, Miss Michelle. Hello. Any questions? Uh, no, I was just late. I'm just saying <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, hello. Um, okay, again, we have a raffle, so please just leave a comment on our Facebook Live, okay? Or actually, so Zoom, because we, we are... Uh, automatically adding you guys so all right so now we are done with our base colors okay so at this point I'm going to grab my fan brush okay so I'm going to wet my fan brush and then dip it in my orange color okay So just make sure that it has enough pigment in there. Okay. All right. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, pat my brush on the paper several times until I get the, uh, the look that I want. So it's going to be like this one. Okay, so when you're going, when you're doing this, you start with the parts that you want to look dark. Okay, so these parts, okay, because as we go along, um, the color would be much lighter. Okay, so going to start here. Okay, then here. As much as possible, when I when I do this kind of painting, I I try not to like 
do so many details on it. it just the the basic shades the okay so at this point you can see that i've sort of um tilted my brush a bit okay and just using this portion to add the sort of middle tones to the trees to the tree okay just like that okay no hard rule on this okay just observe the tree as it's developing and then add colors as you uh where you like them okay there so I'm done with this, or maybe I can add a darker shade here. Okay, there you go. Next, okay, so I'm just going to rinse my brush again. And then we're going to add the details here on our pinkish tree, okay? But this time I'm going to do something different. So earlier we had our brush positioned this way. Here I'm just going to um, dab my brush while it's like this, okay? So it's not laying flat, it's perpendicular to the paper. Okay, so just dab again. Okay, and just make sure that you leave some spaces in between so that the leaves would actually look, uh, would be evident, okay? Just dab, dab, dab. Okay, so now I'm happy with how these two are looking. Okay. Now for this part, okay, this is actually something like the, the trees farther away. So you can choose to add a little bit of details onto them or not, okay? So for this one, actually, I just added like very, very light details. So let's do that. Okay, since the color is really light to begin with, if I add them here, okay, they won't be so, they won't be creating so much of a contrast. Okay, just like that, okay. Okay, so this is our trees. We're going to add branches later on, but once the, this part is um, dry. So while we're waiting for it to dry, we can actually move on to the, uh, the bridge, okay? Now, I've actually colored up to this part, okay? So we won't paint on this yet since it's a bit damp we'll start with this part okay the base part and I'm just going to use my angled brush for this okay so if you don't have an angled brush you can use um, a rigger brush um, I don't recommend a round brush because if you're not so comfortable um, or used to uh, controlling your strokes when you when you put pressure on your round brush 
instead of creating um, nice thin lines, you might end up with thicker lines. So you can use a rigger brush, a, an angled brush, or a flat brush, a small flat brush if you have one, okay? So, for this one, I'm going to use my brown, okay? I think I grabbed a brown from a different palette also to create, because if you see, this one is like so dark. So I think I used a different brown for that. So let's see later, okay? So basically, Okay, I'm going to use my angled brush, okay, to um, create the details, okay. But right now, we, we, we want to start with um, this, the, the, the sort of gradient part, okay. So basically, you just start with, you start with, this portion, okay, in sort of just drag your brush. Start with this portion. Michelle? Yes? Um, Miss Janine Maureen is asking if you use Van Dyke Brown for the bridge. Oh, um, as I've mentioned earlier, I'm using this set of handmade watercolors. So it's a the, the names are a bit different, but this one is actually close to sepia, I believe. And yeah, Van Dyke Brown, if you're using Shinhan, I think. Yeah. So, yes. Van Dyke Brown is from Holbein. Ah, Holbein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think Shinhan also has, I cannot remember, but I remember it's Holbein. Yes, I have Van Dyke Brown in my Shinhan also. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Um. Mm. So yes, this, this is similar to sepia or Van Dyke Brown. Because it's not, it's not the orangey brown, right? It's like the, what do you call this? Mocha, mocha dark brown, okay? So I'm just going to do that. Like, again, I just started from here, okay, with a thick, consistency and then I just use the the flatness of my angled brush to just push the pigment away from this side creating this sort of um, dry brush effect okay now at this point this part is already dry so we can add the we can add the details or the posts just sorry okay so with the same color again i'm just um getting color straight from the pan i'm not mixing anything um so this one is very thick okay the next thing that I'm going to do is add um, add the base of this bridge, okay? So with your angled brush laying flat on your paper, you just drag it to draw the outline of the bridge. Okay. And then the bottom. Now, at this point, you don't see the sketches anymore, the, the, the lines that we've drawn earlier, but we are going to add the support of the bridge. Okay, so from the middle, okay, holding your brush this way, you just um, touch your paper. Okay, like that. It's like stamping on your paper. 
And then another one here. This one, it's just one line per side. And then three lines over here. Okay, there you go. Next, we're going to add the posts. Okay, so it's going to be the middle. Let's start from the middle and then on the sides. And then here on the right side. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have the shadows, okay? The part of the bridge, the side of the bridge um, beneath this side that we're actually, uh, that's actually just facing us, okay? So we're going to add that part later on when the pigment here is um, less, okay? So it's going to be lighter. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead with the frames, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the X within the frames. Okay, so as you can see, the lines are a bit um, lighter now at this point. I don't want to reload my brush as much as possible because I want the illusion to remain that these, okay, the ones that I'm adding now are actually um, behind the part of the bridge that we've just painted, okay? so. See, the poles here are much lighter. And then we're also going to do um, duplicate excess here. Just because we want to show that this bridge is a bit, um, it has dimension, okay? So there. So we're done with the bridge, okay. Next, we're going to add the details to the trees and then the lake, okay. So for the trees, I'm going to use the same brown, okay. And I'm going to use this angled brush again. So very thick, honey consistency, almost dry. Okay, and then we're going to add the branches on um, the gaps, okay? So just um, quickly tap and slide your brush. Okay, and then from here, use the longer um, corner to sort of create the branches, okay? So just um, very lightly add the branches springing from the center. Okay, try to um, be very minimal with this. We don't want to overwhelm the tree with too much of the brown. Okay, there you go. And then maybe we could even add branches springing from the outer parts. Okay, again, you're just using this part of your brush very lightly. Okay. 
And then we're going to do the same on this side. Okay. So for this one, we're going to have a, um, a branch, okay, a main branch here, the trunk rather. Okay. And then just grab your tissue paper and sort of dab on this part. Okay. And then reinforce that frame. Okay. So here, okay. From the main trunk, again, just this, uh, using this longer tip of your angled brush, but this time, let us add more pressure. Okay. At one point, you will begin to achieve a dry brush effect because we're not reloading the brush. Okay. And just let it fade as it goes farther away from the center. There you go. Okay. So, there you have it. Now, here, again, these are the trees that are farther away. So um, at this point, I want to have a, uh, a more diluted brown, okay? So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to grab some browns from my pan and then just dilute it with water so that it's much lighter this time, okay? So this is more like a, like a tea consistency, like so very light, okay? And then from here, okay, we just want to create these very light illusion of branches, okay? So we're going to just do this, okay? And then maybe just lightly tap your um, your tissue and then add those branches okay Again, no hard rule on this. You just try to imagine, okay? So if I'm looking at a nice array of trees far away from me, what will I see? Okay, so that's it. There. Okay, so we're done with this part and on to the last part here. Okay. I'm going to use my angled brush again for this. I can actually use this brush still. Yeah, I think I'll use this part, uh, this brush. So, okay. This time we're going to do wet on dry. Okay, so I'm getting my flat brush, okay, with a wet flat brush. I'm um, loading it with my gray color, the same gray that I used earlier, but this would look more defined now because we're painting wet on dry, okay? So my brush is fully loaded with gray, but we want to achieve a dry brush effect, okay? So what we're going to do is this part of the brush, we're going to dry that, okay? We're going to um, 
dab our brush onto this tissue paper. Okay. So that there's less water on our brush. And then do the same swooping motion. Okay. I think I've dried it so much. <laughs> Let me do that again. It got completely dry. Okay, so let me do that again. Okay. Swoop. Okay. Then here, swoop. Okay, just very lightly swoop on the sides. This can be a bit tricky because you have a flat brush, no? So you just be very careful at this point. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing that, see what I did? I, I was like doing this on an angled. Uh, motion like that. And then here, just have your brush flat laying flat, okay? Now, in the middle of these major swoops, okay, you can add a few lines, okay? A few fine lines. All right. Okay, so there you have it. That's our finished product. Questions? Any questions? None? Okay, so if there are no questions, I'll be turning you over to Beth for the second demo. Hi, Michelle, can you? And you entertain them for two minutes. I'm going to let my <laughs> camera in, okay? Sure, sure, no problem. Okay, questions. Entertain. Do you want me to sing? <laughs> entertain them. Yes, yes. No, oh, I want no. to dance. A dance? <laughs> I, I only dance on Instagram. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so maybe some of you guys would like to show your works or not everybody's hiding. I can see the galleries. Everybody's videos are off. Okay. So anyway, I hope, oh, okay. Hi, Nina. Let me see you. Ninia actually created a mini mini one. So nice. Can I spotlight? Play spotlight. There you go. Oh, so nice. <laughs> actually, okay, let me just add this pala. If you have not yet been doing this, if you have small sketchbooks or um you know, if, you've, if you have like failed artworks and there are portions there that are, um, that are still good to be painted on or the back parts of it, okay? Um, this was mentioned by Sir Dino Pajo before. Eh? Um, when you create like, um, what do you call this? It's like, um, uh, it's like, a, I forgot the term, but instead of, for example, instead of painting something um, right away on your on your like for example for for this one, okay, instead of painting on this particular paper right away, what you can do is you can paint first on a smaller scale so that you can plan thumbnail. Yes, yes, thumbnail. So um, it's also a nice way to develop your miniature painting skills, like what Nina is doing, okay? 
So Beth, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're still waiting for the dance number. <laughs> um, I will. I will. Uh, I will rehearse first. <laughs> I will practice first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay the subscribers are submitting the their works on the chat group would you like me to share it first sure sure okay let me just go to okay sorry subscribers you're caught uh, no off guard but the paintings are really nice yay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, see, they painted along with us. Wow, everybody's available on today, Sunday morning. So nice. Happy yep. New Year. <laughs> they are. Wait, huh? Let me just do this. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, somebody's in the chat room. I will wait for the dance number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mickey, I will, I will, I will dance next time. <laughs> Oh, okay. this is recorded. She she said oh, she will no. dance next oh, time. No. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so nice. This is from Sandy. Wow, Sandy. So nice, so nice. So everybody can see it. Uh, may delay lang sa ano, live. Next time. Yeah, so tagal ng delay, grabe. Oh, okay. There, okay. So this is from Sandy. Mm -hmm. Any comments? So nice. Um. The trees are really wonderful. I think I you, she just needs Sandy. You just need to um, work on the lower part, the lake. Although actually, it's not exactly the same as how I did it, but it's also very expressive. So I like it actually. Okay, and then let's. Oh, and dami nakaharang. Wait lang, ha? Huh? Dami nakaharang sa screen ko. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ito, I mean, ko siya. Ayun, there you go. Okay. Wait, again, that's still Sandy's work. I think this is her process. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm going the other way. Okay. Here. Oh, this is so cute. I this love the from, Uh. Okay, wait. Oh my God, is this from Tita Lorna? Tita Lorna, are you here in Zoom? Yeah, she's here. This is Tita <laughs> yes, Lorna's yes, work. Wow. Yes, I, I like the colors. It's this very is, I'll nice. show you Tita Lorna. Tita Lorna, huh? it's so nice. The it's so it's exactly so, what I I like to achieve. It's uh it's very light. It's very uplifting. The colors is very uplifting, no? Um, you Thank actually, you, <laughs> you actually were able to create the same strokes that I did for the trees and for the bridge. Okay, I think for the lake, it's um, it's something that everyone needs to practice, especially the uh, the dry brush. It's not easy. Yeah. I have to admit, it's not easy. It took me quite a while. Also, I, I had to practice. Um, so first, no, this this part, di ba? While it's wet, you do the sweeping, no? The, sw uh, the sweeping motion with your flat brush. Um, and then you just have to let it dry, okay? Once it's dry, I can see that you... Um, the, the dry brush effect is almost there. It's just that you need to hold your brush a bit lighter against the paper so that you don't create any ah, hard edges. Okay. So, Mas ano ko? Napadien, yes. Napadien. So, again, this activity is a very relaxing activity for me. <laughs> and I wanted to share it with everyone. So, that that's something that we all need to, ano, to be comfortable with, to start being comfortable with. Just letting your blush uh, your brush glide very lightly okay but this one i love the colors and wow thank you yeah. welcome tita lorna yeah. this, this one is from susan oh that's so nice susan got my lake 
Hello. Hi, Susan. Okay, so Susan got the, the leaves of the uh, trees, the branches also. Actually, everything, no? Everything. It's just that siguro the... Um, we wanted we wanted this portion to be like so um the lines are should be like thinner as you go farther from the side okay but the the i see the dry brush effect very well it's nice it's very nice maybe you can add darker darker um a darker what do you call that Ripple, Nisha Ripple. Eh. The one, the water? Yes. <laughs> okay. So you got the river, right? It's just that farther, fr farther from the side, thinner lines. And then at the bottom, you just add this darker shade. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. I love the bridge. Thank you. <laughs> and then wait again. Uh huh. We have um, Len. This is from Len. Okay. Hi, Len. Len is squirrel. Okay. So I can see that Len really used a very limited palette here. Actually, it's nice. I like the Zen effect, no? It's a, wow. It's like, ang ganda. Um, that's actually one of the things that I wanted no, also, also to, to promote is having a limited palette okay so len did that here um siguro the the bridge okay i think she uh len you you were able to uh fill in uh in this part where the frames are okay uh, yes, so yes. Yeah, so next time we, we just want this part to to be trans to be to be to be clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what happened is um since you painted within the within the frames, the bridge became um became solid. Right? Oh I see, I see. Yeah. All and right. I, and I can also see that you have some difficulty with a dry brush effect uh, from this portion, right? True, true. Yes, yes. It's not easy also. Again, <laughs> so here, okay, so this portion, instead of it becoming like fading as you go to the right, it did not do that, okay? Mm. But you can still, you can still salvage that, okay? Um, once your paper is fully dry, if you have a filbert, filbert brush, uh, like we have that. one. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, a I mean, I can Blogger. <laughs> Blogger. <laughs> okay. So this one is a filbert brush. Okay. Yan, yan. Mas nakikita. Right. Ganyan. Okay. Kita ni Beth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beth can find one for you. <laughs> Beth is the master of brushes and also Nina. Okay. Nina, Nina has a lot. <laughs> so, ito siya, no? So it's a uh, it's rounded. Um I don't know the science behind it or the geometry of the universe behind it. <laughs> but the thing is with the filbert brush, when you um when you wet it and then you you rub it against any part of your paper and then you dab that part with tissue it erases it okay so maybe it, it has something to do with the shape i don't know okay so um you can you can what you can do is you can um instead of kasi diba we have this portion is uh, has excess no so you might think it's difficult to correct it but what what basically what you just needed to do is rub the whole thing Okay, and then dab it with tissue paper. Okay, and then after after it's fully dry, then you can add the frame again. That's just it. Now, for in the meantime, if you don't have the filbert, filbert brush yet, you can still use the you can still use a um, 
synthetic round brush, you can try doing that. If it's if it's very springy, okay. So it the 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 what will happen is it will rub against it, no, and then just dab it with tissue paper. See what happens. It will it will clear. It will not be exactly very white, but at, at least the color will not be as solid as that. Okay. And then Thank you. welcome. Okay. And then yeah, the for the lake, it's it's something that we need to practice on the dry brush, the dry brush effects. Okay. Salamat. Okay. This one is from Marinella, not yet finished. She hasn't finished the bridge yet. I think Marinella got scared of the bridge. Because <laughs> oh, it's she's hard. Just, she's she's just ano, paano ba siya? She paints slowly. Ah, okay, okay. Kala ko kasi, kasi mahirap I was bridge. late. <laughs> ah, I was late. <laughs> okay. But you were able to catch up. So very, very good. Um, Finishing the bridge now. <laughs> oh, okay. So maybe we can see that later after, after the... Yes, I will submit it after. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle, hey, Donna. Oh, Donna's here. Hi, yeah, Donna. Donna was able to paint along with us. Among oh, nice. Yes, Donna was able to capture the bridge and the trees and the lake very nicely. I can see the dry brush effect over there. Siguro, ano lang. Um, mas, uh, let's, let's uh, have the, the, the darker parts of the lake a bit longer lang. Okay. So, para lang, para siyang, para siyang ano, um, see, it's, um, it's almost there, but not quite. Parang ganun. Okay. So don't, don't be scared to just swoop your brush. Okay. And just, again, just leave. Yeah. Yung, okay. So here, just leave some space, but not exactly cut. You don't want to cut at the middle. You want it to fade and then just leave some space. But everything else is good, Donna. Thank you. Thank you for painting along. Okay, so um, we are back. And if, <laughs> if you can see my screen, thank you so much. Um, this is the uh, supposedly Rainbow Bridge, no? So... Let's see if we can recreate it. The Rainbow Bridge, um, I particularly like it from Japan pag night time. Kasi during night time, all the lights are on. And if if I remember it like uh, right, I saw the Rainbow Bridge in the Mario game. It's a Mario Kart game. It's a final stage in the Nintendo. So it's so hard to cross that bridge, but it's really a rainbow bridge. So when you go to Japan and you go over the rainbow bridge at nighttime, you see these wonderful colors. So in this particular session, um, I wanted to focus on using, um, I, I always use bright colors anyway, uh, a bright orange, a bright yellow, and if you can see the bright yellow green and the bright blue. Also, you will be having reflections on this still water. This is the shadow of the bridge. And um, this is very far from the reference photo, but I simplified everything. Uh, so there. Um, this one has a bit of perspective, no? but I just simplified it. The perspective actually is there. The bridge is going towards there, but I simplified it and I just made it um, facing us so that it's easier to paint, okay? Uh, it's been a while since I've painted. Um, January has been very, very hard. It's so hard to get back into the groove um, with everything, no? It's so hard to work. It's so hard to paint. So last night, I just really forced myself to paint, okay? So oh, please bear with me today. And this one requires um, sketching, but the sketches are roughly um, merely lines. So if you need a ruler, because we, if it's not straight, your bridge will fall down. <laughs> okay, it has to be straight. Um, you have to draw this 
uh, you have to look at it when you're drawing this because the first one I did, my bridge was slanted and it seems going to fall. So when I checked it with the ruler, um, it's really not straight. So I, I used a ruler, see? <laughs> I used a ruler in um, painting and sketching these bridges. Although my art teachers, they never allow us to use rulers, okay? But I cannot risk it because my bridge will fall down. Look, oh, see? It's not straight. That's why I used a ruler for sketching this one. So now, um, let's try to sketch. Uh, to sketch this, uh, I divided my paper into three equal parts. So one third, one third, and one third. So if you can see this, there. Let me see if you can see that. And then after that, um, this middle third, um, I will put, it's like a wall over here okay, that separates the bridge from the buildings. Another horizontal line. Okay. And then after that, I am now going to draw the little buildings. Okay. So you're going to use flat brushes for this. So if you're going to paint, it's so nice to use flat brushes such as this and this. It's better if your buildings would be the same size of your will be the same size as your buildings because it's much easier to reflect them. So I use all my flat brushes, okay? So this one is for the smaller ones. This one is for the bigger ones. But of course, you can make do with everything. It's just easier if you have the right size of flat brush. Okay, so this one is too big. So probably you can use this here, but I didn't use that. I used this one. And also the round brushes for control. So again, sketching. Um, put some buildings. You may separate them. One would be taller than the others. The other could be fatter or wider, narrower. Okay, so there. Anyway, they're very far. And then what's important is the bridge. So the bridge here is about the same size as my ruler. So I am going to use my ruler in sketching this bridge. Okay. And it's about, it takes half off the, the top third layer there. So now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to get the other one. This one actually has perspective. So if you're going to draw this one, actually there's an inner, there's a, there's a vanishing point over there, but I won't pause into that. I will just move over here and create the bigger one. So this one occupies um, almost three-fourths of the upper third. So again, I am going to do this and it's a bit fatter than my previous one. So it has to be taller than that. But to make it, to make things easier, let's just do this. Okay, there. Now it's going to go down over here because when you lay down your brush, and you're going to have reflection over here. I'm going to reflect those posts over here, also here. I normally do this so that I can remember later on. So, and notice again, it has to be straight. So it will depend on how you drag your brush later on. Okay, next would be the arc, okay, this arc. It's a little bit higher than this one. So you're going to draw your arc. Okay. And then these are like the lines that's holding some of the bridge. So I needed to put that so I can see it as well. Sometimes I forget. Okay. So from here, I'm going to draw some 
to help me remember. To help me remember later on that there are posts here. So there. Um, that's basically it. And then I'm going to have my shadow over here. Shadow of the bridge. So now I'm going to erase those unnecessary lines. So normally when you sketch this, it has to be light. But of course, since I'm doing a demonstration, um, you have to see the lines. Otherwise, it will be harder. Um, this is one of the use of the tracing tra or the light pad that we're giving away this month. Um, it's so easy to sketch. You don't even have to... Um, you don't even have to put lines. You're just going to put it. Um, you're just going to put the the picture of your painting and then sketch from there. So it's a wonderful tool. We're not saying that you're if you're not good in drawing like me, it's a nice tool. Okay. So it's for lazy people, in other words. <laughs> but of course, we encourage you to draw. It's just that it makes things a lot easier. If you have those tools. Okay. So again, I'm trying my best to make this as straight as possible. And I'm trying to remove those unnecessary lines. So you can roll and remove some of the some of those unnecessary lines and remove some of the lines as well. Okay, there. Okay, so the horizon is very important. Please remember that this is a highlight. So, yep. Okay, so there. Let me see how we can work this on later. Okay. Let's, put the, let's put buildings over here, some noise over there. Okay, so this is my sketch. Again, this one, please make sure that's straight. I can see it on the screen. There, I feel better now. Okay. Because if it's not straight, um, your bridge would look like as if it's going to fall down. And you wouldn't want your bridge to fall down. Okay, so there. Anyway, we'll cover this. This is the dark area of your bridge. Okay. So there. Now, once you're done sketching... If you are painting along or sketching with me, or if you have your sketch already, very good. But if not, and you just want to watch, it's okay. Um, I'm going to prepare the colors next. So the colors that I'll be using, I'll be using my white knights. This is my white knights. This has forever been my, my, um, this has been forever my paint, no? Since 2000, I think 2015. Okay, Jason is asking where to submit the output. Jason, in the live comment section where you are asking, you can um, you can post your output. Okay. So just post it here along with your comment. So the colors that we'll be using, I forgot to do this, but I hope. Okay, this is a gift from Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> so this is a continuous water spritzer. And she gave me white, so now it's very dirty. Okay, sorry, Santi, but that's the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to use the colors that I use is yellow ochre for this guy. Okay, uh, this is the output, Janine. Okay. So the output is something like this. Uh, Okay, there. Thank you, Janine. You remember? Yeah, it's 2016, February. Janine is a, is, she's a friend way back, no? From when we started watercolors. So there. So we're going to use yellow ochre. Okay. I'm going to use yellow ochre. And then I am going to mix violet with it. Okay. So this is the violet. If you mix yellow ochre and a violet, you'll create this very nice gray. So let me do that. 
your yellow ochre and my violet with more yellow ochre until you get your violet, I mean your dark gray. So here, this is the gray that I use in the painting. So yellow ochre plus violet is a neutral. Okay, so I think if you have a, you have sepia, uh, no, wait, I'm, I'm looking at my palette because this palette has sepia. Okay, it's very close to sepia. Just, I know, uh, you just have to dilute it with water. There, next is, um, of course, the color for the buildings. I use red brown, okay, or burnt sienna. You may use burnt sienna. And I uh, know this has been my second palette. I bought the 36 colors. This is my second. The first one, I already depleted all the colors. I already used them. Okay, so this is burnt sienna for the building over here. Burnt sienna and a dark color. This one is the same mixture, only thicker. Okay, so for the dark areas here. Now I use a red, you may use any red you have. Crimson is better because this is a warm red, okay? I only have, ah, okay, let me see what red I have in this palette. You may use any red. This is the crimson, this is uh, rose matter, I think. So this is a cool red, this is a warm red, you may use any. And then, for the bright ones, no? this is a yellow orange, a bright orange. I'm going to use permanent yellow also. I'm going to mix the two because this is very light. But this is our base color and then followed by orange. Finally, yellow green. Yellow green is lemon yellow. Lemon yellow plus any of your cool blue or if you have green, this is mid green. If you mix that with cerulean blue, it's also very nice. Cerulean blue and lemon yellow. See, tada! Lemon yellow is quite opaque, so it covers everything. So even if you have colors here, if you put lemon yellow, it comes out. Okay, and I'm going to use phthalo blue, a very cool blue. There. Any more colors? I think that's it. Okay, so these are the colors that I use for the Rainbow Bridge. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to wet the entire paper. Okay. So let's wet the entire paper with um, a big brush any brush or any of your flat brushes. Okay, just wet. Then let it be there for a while. Again, to absorb, let the paper absorb the water. Okay, there. Then I'm going to put yellow ochre. Okay. Yellow ochre. More yellow ochre. Um, since your paper is wet, you can put more yellow ochre so that you can see them and it will lighten up when it's dry. So there. Now, try to lift some of the colors here. Or if you like, you can mask it later on. But normally, I I just lift. No? Yeah, you see how lazy am I? So I just lift the colors if I don't like it. And I'm going to put brighter colors there later on. But I think it's fine because it's very light. But to be sure, because this is what I did last night, I just lifted the 
And then there, um, we're going to mix your yellow ochre and violet. So you'll put gray over here. So again, I am mixing yellow ochre and my violet. Okay, let me mix it so that we'll create that gray. There. Okay, it's a nice gray. Okay, and then I'm going to put it here and a bit here and on this side. Okay, not occupying all the buildings. Next is, um, yeah, let it be. I'm still lifting some of the colors. My paper is still wet. Yes. Yes, Tita. Yes. Question? Okay. Are you... okay. <laughs> Sumasabay kayo? Hindi makatakbo ang Lola. Okay. So, nasan ka natin to, Lorna? Thank you, thank you. I will stop muna. Matutuyuan ako ng papel, Tita. Okay, okay, okay na. Okay na. Ano lang. Okay. Point five. There. Point five slower. Okay. Um... When you're, oh, sige, basain na lang natin. My paper is still wet kasi. So while it's still wet, I would like to take this opportunity na. Okay? So orange, my bright orange, thank you for, I know, I need someone to stop me normally. Otherwise, I would go on and on. <laughs> okay, so this is the bright orange. I'm going to use it on the bridge. I am letting it bleed. See, that's the reason why I want it to be white. But I don't want to use masking either because it's going to be harsh later. It's not going to be soft. So I'd rather lift the white. Okay? There. So that's a very nice orange. I'm letting it bleed, so be it. Um, and then put your yellow. I'm placing yellow. More yellow. Okay. You can also put now your yellow green. Okay. I do this really very fast because I, I hinahabol ko talaga yung wetness, no? I am trying to get the... I'm, I'm trying to take the opportunity while, while the paper is wet. So this is yellow green. I am mixing lemon yellow and my mid green. So you, if you have your yellow green, very nice. See how opaque it is. Um, but I want this on the bridge as well and on the background. So I'm going to put yellow green all over there. So I'm placing yellow green. After that, I'm going to put phthalo blue. And put it all the way there. Okay, that's so much. Don't do this. <laughs> I'm going to lift some, but the colors would merge nicely, so that's fine. Okay, this one happened because my paper is dry already. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wet it again. Because I want the reflection to be smoother, no? This one, I want this to be softer. So since this is dry already, let's wet it. Since we're using cotton paper, this should work. Ta-da! Yeah. Okay. So no worries at all. But you want, of course, the reflection of those buildings below. This one I'm not bothered because it's going to be dark later on. This one also. So while you're doing that, you can put the yellow green and the phthalo blue. Right now, it's a messy thing of color, but it's nice later. Um, I am alternating yellow-green, um, phthalo blue, this one. This will just become dark later on, so don't mind that. There. I want phthalo blue to be really strong. Over here. That's the post, no? That's the bridge post. And over here as well. 
Now that's the beauty when it's wet. This one would automatically be the reflection of the bridge towards you uh, on the river, okay? Now for the building, I plan this to become burnt sienna. So uh, I'm going to use burnt sienna. I think this is burnt sienna, yeah, reddish brown and reflect it over here for the building. Oh, I forgot the boat. There's boats here later on. Don't worry. <laughs> there are boats here. I forgot to sketch the boats, no? But it's easy. Don't worry. And don't mind it so much. Okay. There. And then it's still wet, so that's fine. This is still wet. We can put burnt sienna on some of the buildings. Okay. I'm going to put white later on. So I just do that. No, that's why it's a the flat brush is really very nice. I can put some here as well. Some buildings over here and at the back, if you like. If you don't like, that's fine. You can put some more. It's still wet and it's responding. So I am putting, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more of the orange over here. Just to show those colors because it's fading now. Okay. There. Okay, right now it's messy, no? So we'll create. The details later on. Okay, it's still wet. So if I put the dark colors now, they will bleed. No? So I'm going to let it dry so that we can save time. This is how it should look. But right now it's a mess. So that's no problem at all. Let me just dry it. So that I can work on it. Once I put the darts, this one would be clear, more clear. This is the frustrating part of watercolor. Sometimes you don't know if what you're doing is right, whether you should proceed or whether you should not proceed. But more often than not, you should go, especially if it's on the early stage like this. Okay. Um, once, if you're waiting for this to dry, you can prepare your darker colors. If you have indigo blue, you may use it. If you have a very dark brown, that's what you're going to use. But in this case, I just mixed my yellow ochre and my violet to get the dark areas here. And we're going to do some br dry brush on the bridge later on. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's work on the dark. I am using now my round brush, my ever loyal round brush, but this is so small, like a big one. Mix, get your dark brown, okay? So mix your violet and your yellow ochre or just create a dark brown. So more pigment than um, more pigment than water, so that it will become it's so that the color is more solid because we need it right now. So here, I am going to do that. Okay, I'm using a synthetic brush. That's why it's like this. You may use. Uh, okay, please. You should not, but that's fine. But please don't 
cover the post. Yeah. Okay. So this is the problem when you're painting and you cannot see your sketch. So you should have your reference photo with you all the time. So this is the first layer of our parang border. Okay. We'll see. I'm going to lift some. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to use indigo blue, a dark blue, a very dark blue. There you go. So in your mixture of yellow, red, and blue, just add more blue, you'll get indigo blue. You can actually mix using three colors only. There. So I'm going to put indigo blue here. So notice the difference of the darks, no? This one is more blue than brown. So in your darks, you can create those differences. Just to create a variation of colors. So I'm going to make this dark. Because there's blue and yellow, it's reflecting right now. There you go. And I'm going to dry my brush. I'm going to get that indigo blue and put some over here, over here, and over there. Okay, so I'm establishing boundaries now. Okay. Now, since this is dry, I am going to get the brown, the one I use here for the bridge. Okay. And I'm going to put some frames on the bridge as well. Use some dry brush technique in creating those, the board, I mean the, this one the road itself, okay? So there. Now add more indigo blue. Okay. And I will stop for a while so that you can follow. And so that I can breathe, okay, for now. So there, um, see, it lightens up so I can draw the boat. I can draw the boat now. So we're going to put some definition over here in a while. Um, we're just waiting for this. If you want to create texture for this, it's okay also. You can also splatter if you like. I will not splatter today. <laughs> I will restrain myself from splattering today. Hey there. Um, and I want to create details later on so that you can define the bridge and the building. If you have your gouache, prepare it as well. We are going to use it for the buildings as well. Okay. So now I think I can proceed with the with this tiny lights over here. Okay, so create some lights over there. You can make it smaller. I used a smaller brush last night, but I used a wrong one today. Okay. And then also, you may use your rigger brush for these lines. Okay. So I'm going to use it now. Okay. One. And then two. And then there's all, there are lines over here as well. And over here. Ta-da. Hey, next, I want to define this one. So to define that, I'm going to use red, no? Hey, let me just check, no? So to check, what you can do is use a scratch paper and then do that. So I want to do that. Bawal umulit. I tell that to myself again so that, um, yeah. and then also here, so you can define it, just red. Yeah, and here, you have to practice doing straight lines. It's so hard, actually, because um, here I made a mistake. Oh. 
if it's not straight, masisira. The form, the form doesn't hold. Okay, so that you have to really practice that. Now I'm going to use the Taylor blue, Taylor blue color here to support this one. Just a line, huh? Over here as well. Taylor blue. I'm defining the post of the bridge. This is Taylor blue. Like what I told you, I am defining it. Yan. Kasi malabu siya. It's not that clear yet. So this is the pose of the bridge. So it's reflecting. Again, your reflection should also be straight, no? So it's better if you stand up doing this because there's a tendency for this to slide down there. And here you have to define your horizon because, there you go. And the bridge needs to stand, no? Okay, there. Now, this one, I'm bothered by that. So let's put something here. So that you can define there. Hey. Okay, now, um, let's put some parang ripples, like what Midge did a while ago. So this one would help. Diba tapos na tayo? We're done with the vertical reflection. Now, this one would help it even more if you create some of these. Very tiny, parang ripple, no? Water ripples. There you go. Yep. And I want to define more lines here. Again, use your rigor brush just to define some, no? I'm using orange. I'm using orange now on my rigor just to suggest some of those lines. Yeah. Okay. I feel better now. Okay. Um, if you want to make some of the areas darker so that it's not as flat as you see it right now, um, but the effect will be, it will pop out. So what we'd like to do is that they should be at the back. No? So this one is more focused. But if you like, like what I did here, everyone is in focus. So um, I will leave it like this for now. I'm going to create highlights using my white. You can use a small round brush for this one, or um, I'm using gouache. Let's check. So normally test. Okay, it's nice, no? So we're going to put horizontal lines on this, on the building. So we're going to put horizontal lines. at the top so these are like the lights that you see from afar and like what i've told you you can put some darker areas no okay so the white is you cannot probably see it right now we have to let it dry a bit so that the gouache can take effect because gouache normally takes parang magbilang kayo ng one minute before it shows up. But if hindi siya lumabas, add more pigment. Yan. Okay, so I put that to define some of the areas. Okay, pag hindi pa kayo happy, you can use, mag-white muna tayo ha, mamaya na yung darker areas. Let's do white first. I am doing all the whites. I'm going to put this on the bridge. I'm going to put it at the base of the bridge using dry brush effect. At this post. Okay. Some here. Okay. Also on this horizontal and vertical. Okay. There we go. Okay. Next is the dark naman. So we're done with white, no? So I'm going to use my round brush. I'm going to darken some of the areas of the bridge so that the light would, would be seen. Okay. 
So I'm also doing horizontal strokes. But make sure it's straight. Yeah, make sure it's straight. Otherwise, again, yan. Hey, there you go. I ha I'm happy with that. Otherwise, um, if it's not straight, again, your building will fall apart. So the dark ones is a good contrast for the whites. And again, you can put more whites if you feel that you need more. Okay, there. So the buildings are now evident. There, now we can put the boats. Okay. So for the boat, you can sketch it if you like. Let's do one boat, okay? Because the other one you can do it later now. So just this one, two trapezoids, one over the other. Trapezoidal shape. Ta-da! And then I'm going to do the shadow first. And then more dark brown for the shape. I am defining the shape of the boat. And then I'm going to get the red one. have some windows, and there's my boat, okay? Um, add more shadow to it. Wait for it to dry. I'm putting indigo blue. There. So you see something from very, very what do you call that? A very messy painting can turn out to something like this. Now I'm using white because I see some of the areas that I want to put white there. And also here, um, just some sporadic, um, what do you call that? Because I feel that this is flat. So I just put some whites over there. It's either white or a dark one. So that's the painting and this is the demo. If you have questions, I can have them now. Or if you were able to follow, um, you can pause this video later on when we're done with the live. You can do it again. And um, I know that I really paint fast because that's the rhythm that I feel for the painting. Um, like what I've said, I, I want the uh, dampness and the water level for each stage of the painting. So normally, I follow that. Okay, so that's the difference between the three of us, no? Uh, Michelle is always very, very calming. And me, I always, I'm always really, really fast. So, so I hope that you can still follow. If not, um, you can rewind, pause, and um, review this video again later on. Okay, so if you have questions, walang questions, no more questions, both from the subscribers, very quiet. Okay, sige, I'll let you be first. Walang question kasi di pa tapos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I figured, and painting pa. <laughs> so I'll show you mine here, ha? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> there pa lang. Okay. Where did you send it, Marinella? Ah, uh, here at Zoom. <laughs> ah. Talaga naka-send ka dito. Hindi, ano lang, sa live. <laughs> ah, doon mo mismo nilagay. Wait. Hindi ko pa kinunan, mamaya ko nan ko. Okay. Okay. So hanggang saan, Marinella? Ah, uh, yung dark pa lang, I will do the dark ano. Okay, so there. So, um, more questions, please? Oh, we're focusing, Miss Beth. Ha ha. <laughs> Sige, go focus, um, Jason. Okay, so this is also good when you paint this on a big paper 
but probably you'll be using more uh, you'll probably be using big flat brushes okay sandy was able to send a photo let me see oh diba? it's so pretty <laughs> ang ganda sandy ah. i like it wait let me share Okay, so how do I refresh this? There, ta-da! And how do I? There. <laughs> Just click everything. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> okay. Ang ganda ah, reflection. Ang ganda, Sandy. And you were troubled a while ago as you, oy, ang ganda ng Horizon. Tita Lorna, she bought Horizon already. <laughs> ruler, ruler. <laughs> I look for a ruler. <laughs> Pero ang laki talaga ng effect nung, ano, ano, nung angle brush na for the reflection. You use angle, not flat? Angle. Ah, I use flat lang. They go straight. Ah, ganun din yun, di ba? Ano ba difference ng angle at saka flat? Ayun no, tingnan mo, nakatagilid yung shape. I mean, ah. di ba? <laughs> I think, even if I use the flat brush, talagang tagalid ako. <laughs> but very nice colors. I love your colors. Probably you can put dark for konti lang sa bridge on this part, Sandy. Okay, okay. Thank Pero you. I love it. Don't touch it anymore. Wala. <laughs> Okay. Wow! Susan! Ay, may nakita ako. Sorry. Wait lang. <laughs> okay. This one, kay Marinella. Not yet finished. Very good. Okay, so you need to define this later. Since the colors here are not that bold yet, you would have to wet this again and put more colors, Marinella. Especially As here. As usual. Yeah. This, this is the first time I touched all my brushes. Oh, di ba? Pare-pareho tayo. Ako kagabi. Wala akong ginawa ka ng December. <laughs> It's so hard to go back, no? Mm -mm. Oh, so, yun. No way to start. Push yourself. So, yun. More colors here. When when you do this the first time, you have to really have that parang uh, beautiful orange color right away. So, while it's wet, since basa siya, you would know na... It would dry light. So, ito kulang to talaga. So, I have to add more pigment. Okay. And para mag... Uh, kasi it's a very, ano eh, bright... It's a very bright bridge eh. So, that's why I wanted these very nice colors. Yon. So, you have to make this bolder. So, wet, wet it again. And then, put those beautiful colors. Okay, I will. Okay. Thank okay you. Ito okay na to. Kasi malayo naman siya eh. Ah, the, then, the buildings. Oo, malayo yan. Tapos, make sure lang na straight line yung mga horizon, Marinella, ha? Which one? Yung, sa, yung dark? Dito. Yes. Yan. Dito. Dito. Uh -huh. And over here. Ha? Sure Hirap ako sa yan. flat brush talaga. Okay lang. This one, yung 12 naman. Okay naman siya. Also, your reflection, very nice naman. I thank you. Okay. <laughs> So yung dark, okay. the darks would make this really pop out. I'm still mixing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, dear. This one, oh, this is Susan's work. Tada! <laughs> okay, ito kasalanan ko to. Nag-outline to Lucy Susan. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> Mapapagalitan ako dito. Dapat ito light lang. Um, hindi mo siya kinontinue. Pero nagawa mo na siya. So no worries. But I like it. You can put a little bit of white pa over here uh -oh. sa bridge yeah. some areas lang uh -oh. tapos darker ng konti ito pwede mo pang lagyan ng isa pang layer ng phthalo blue uh -oh. para magmukha siyang post yung gano'n to kataba uh -oh. gano'n din dito phthalo blue pa baba uh -oh. okay there but I like it yay yay also your boat may nakita ako <laughs> Nice. Both darker here and also darker here at the base. Suggestion, yeah. isa, konting line lang ha, huwag mong didiretsohin. Parang uh -huh. kalahati lang. Uh -huh. Yun, yun. Very nice. Parang ganito o, oh, Susan, no, tingnan mo to. Ang nice nito. Uh -huh. Diba? Uh -huh. Yun. Very good. Yay, yay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yay, may nakasabay sa speed ko, di ba? O, tingnan nyo. <laughs> Sabi ka, hindi ako nakalit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Kaya pwedeng ipos, pwedeng ipos. Pero ang galing, oh. She was able to follow. Thank you, Susan. Okay, thank you, Rin. Oh, ang ganda. Sino to? Wait lang. Who's this? Ah... Uh, Len! Ang ganda! Wow, na-warm up ka ata kay Michelle. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pa ako tapos, Mami Beth, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> may kabul? <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, kasi yung sa bridge, hindi ko siya makita. Ah, pero maganda. Ayan, no? ako kita ko siya. Maganda yung version ng bridge mo. More colors lang, ha? Sige, sige. Dagdag ka. Takot pa ako sa colors. Oo. Oh. Eh, di ba rainbow bridge? Gusto ko nga yan, rainbow. Buti, hindi ko nilagay. <laughs> Orange, yellow, blue, violet yan, eh. Okay, okay. Okay? So, ito, pwede, kang, pwede mo pa siyang lagyan ng more colors. Wet mo. Again, and then orange, yellow. Ito, tama to, eh. And then, let it reflect. Whatever color you add here, you also add pa baba. Wala ba magagawa sa bloom? Maganda siya. Huwag mo pakialaman yung blooms. <laughs> Very nice siya. Eh, parang siyang foggy effect. Kasi okay. nasa ano ka pa lang eh. No. Second stage. Ganda. Oh. Tuloy Wala mo lang. Wala pa akong mga ano, sa detail. Wala. Okay siya. Huwag mo pakialaman yan. Let, it, let them be. <laughs> Maganda siya. Very nice. Ipapost mo ba yung ano, yung... Yung uh, ano, yung output na saan na? Kasi hindi ko masundan. Ito si send ko. Oo nga. Ah, sige, sige. Gusto nila nung ano, send ko. Very nice. Thank you. Very good. And then, si Tita Lorna. Oo, oh, nakasunod si Tita Lorna. Thank you, Tita Lorna. <laughs> you know, that's my problem. Ang bilis ko talaga yata. Paano ko ba babagalay sarili ko? <laughs> okay. Tita Lorna! Yes, yes, yes. Ha, ha. Catch you, my friend. Hindi ko yung itapos. Very nice naman. Ano lang. Ako, shadow ng boat dito sa baba, tita. Yes, yes. Yun lang. And also here, lumagpas yung horizon mo, lagot ka kay Sandy. Oo, hindi ako nakabili. Hindi ako nakabili. Aawain ako niya. Oo. Very nice, tita. Same, no? Huwag yung diretsuhin. Konti lang, mga kalahate. Di diretsuh ko ba? Yes, yes. Nakasobra yan. Oo. Oh. Dito konti yeah. lang. Pero ang galeng, tita. You're able to follow. Yay! Tama! Thank you. And then, ang gagaling. Oh my God, ang ganda. Sino to? Si Donna. Nakakainis yung si Donna. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Dali, ah. Let me see. Nasa ano siya, eh? Facebook. Okay. Hi, Donna. This is her work. Um, ano lang. Very good on the dark. So, look at this. Ganda. Uh, ito yun. This na sabi ko sa inyo, oh. Pag konting tagilid, di ba halata? <laughs> na, naiinis ako. Now, OC ako dyan. Pero I think it's fine kasi shadow lang naman. Or nakatagilid yung painting niya when she took a picture. That's why I feel nakatagilid din yung building. Okay. But anyway... Um, put darker areas lang over here sa boat, no? Tsaka parang ang liit nung boat niya. Assume na lang natin na malayo. So, dark, dark, ano dito? Dark shadow lang para dun sa base nung boat. And then, actually, she can wet it pa, itong part na to. Add um, those colors. Orange, the colors that I see here, green. I think that's her blue and yellow combining. That's why naging green. Or probably nilagyan niya rin ng yellow-green. Kasi meron din dito eh. So very nice. And um, konti pa. Wet this and then add more color. Tapos yun na. Okay na siya, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Okay, and who else? I think I'm done. Yep. Yep, yep. I'm done. So, any more questions? I'll send the photo pala. Ah, sinend ko na siya kagabi. Pero sige, send natin ulit. Uh, I'll send the photo of the demo to the group. Okay? So, if Nina is ready, 
And if there's no more question from the group, yeah, are you ready? Unmute. Can me. I say no? Okay, in that, right? Okay, so um, I, Nina will take over from here. I'm just going to put her on spotlight. Where is your camera, Nina? It's there. There. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, found it. Tada. Okay. Shall I focus on the ano na, Nina? On the yes, picture? please. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Hello everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom my camera. So what we will be painting uh, for the last demo is just super simple. It's the bridge silhouette. So we're just gonna do it. Wait lang, ha? <laughs> Madilim pala. So I'm just gonna open my window. Oh, okay. So we're gonna paint it this small lang. Not really small, but it's like, um, it can be used as a bookmark. So for the book lovers out there, you can use it for your physical book as a bookmark. So I just have a bigger version when I was practicing. <laughs> but I just wanna, kasi nag-enjoy ako dun sa demo ng two girls, eh, no? I just wanna show you. <laughs> Ayan. This is uh, the one for Michelle. The advantage of being the last to do the demo is you can actually paint along with the two ladies. So this is uh, the one from Michelle's demo and so from pretty. Beth's demo. Thank you. I used a ruler as well. Yun yeah. lang naman talaga. Gusto kong pakita eh. Ito yung ruler ko. <laughs> <laughs> Ang lii. Wow. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> I really enjoyed the, kasi I'm not into like um, bursting colors. So I really enjoyed the first two demos. Anyway, so we're going to go back to the last demo. Uh, what you will be needing to do is to um, have partitions on your uh, watercolor paper. So it's in landscape. And I divided it into three. Yon. Napa portrait. So pahaba siya, no? When you divide it. All right, and <laughs> nawala na ako sa wish. <laughs> All right, and the watercolors, of course, we will be using uh, primary colors lang. I have the red, yellow, and blue. Uh, these are Daniel Smith. Uh, wait lang, tingnan natin. Pyro Scarlet, I think the red one, Hansa Yellow, and Ultramarine. Those are just the colors that we will be using. We'll We'll just mix whatever secondary colors we need. I'm going to be using a uh, modeler for our wash for the background and a round brush. It's better if you will be using like a pointy round brush. These uh, two brushes are from Princeton under Neptune theory. So if you're looking for brushes, I have a Shopee account or shop whatever that is. <laughs> so I'm selling brushes. You might want to check that out. Okay, so let's begin. And of course, we're going to be needing your uh, water for brush cleaning and basahan to dump the excess watercolors or water. Uh, we're not going to be needing to sketch anything. So I'm just, we're just going to be using your imagination this time, okay? I will just zoom in my other camera. <laughs> Please bear with me. Okay, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna be using the middle part of my paper. Uh, since I'm right-handed, I want all my all my materials to be on the right side so my hand won't you know won't be seen in the camera most of the time but since it's in the middle uh, and i want to show you the finished product i'll just leave it on the left side 
Dami explanation. Let's just paint. <laughs> so um, we're gonna wet our paper. You can use your hake flat brush or muddler. I have my muddler here. So just wet your paper. <clears throat> The wind is so strong, no? Sa inyo din ba? Parang may aircon. Okay. Gabi, malamig. Malamig, no? Saka pag umaga. Mm -mm. Ito, ngayon, tanghali. Uh, scorching heat of the sun. <laughs> no. Okay. So I, I, I wanted to achieve like the blue hour sana but then i used a bit of yellow so it's just gonna be a, a regular sunset so make sure you wet your paper wet lang natin paper ha huh? okay and i know for sure that uh, most of you are already familiar with the basic washes so we have like the flat one color no and then we also have the gradated wash two colors mostly and then um this one is variegated wash so from the word itself i assume it's a variety of colors so <laughs> all right so that's what we're gonna be doing you can either start with the dark or from dark to light or light to dark. So whichever way you want, that's very fine. I'm going to start with light going to dark. Can you hear the wind? <laughs> so strong, no? Okay. So activating the Hansa yellow. That's going to be the color that we have at the bottom. Since the paper is wet, it's going to be easy for us to achieve the, um, the wash. Next is your yellow. Get some, mix it with a little bit of um, red. And of course, you'll be getting an orange. So when doing the variegated, variegated wash, make sure that when you transition the colors, it's not going to be obvious. So what you can do is to start from the light color or from the first color that you started with, going to the following color so that they would just blend in. I'm just going to put a uh, stronger orange here. I'm distracted by the strong wind. It's kind of scary. Because <laughs> I, I, I see a lot of trees in front of me, so I see them swaying. Anyway, so let's clean the transition. I hope you see that. I'm smoothening the transition from Hansa Yellow to the mixture of red and Hansa Yellow, which is orange. Now let's move on to the next color, which is a bit red. So it's kind of like a no, rainbow when you think about it. So, kanti lang, just to show the sunset. Next will be our blue. So this is ultramarine. Paint it all the way up. So if you're starting or if you're um, 
doing the other way around, like you started from dark to light, um, what you will be getting is, of course, darker sa taas, going lighter pa baba. So I'm just gonna be cleaning. I'm cleaning my brush. Okay. And mixing uh, red and blue to get purple or violet, which is what we're going to be using for the upper portion, upper, upper portion. And as you can see, uh, when I smoothen out the upper part, I start from above going above. So at this point, it's okay to like uh, put an overlay onto your first two, three colors. Because by the point na nag-touch the blue and the red and orange, we want the transition to smoothen out as well. Okay. Now, if you're done with your variegated wash, what we need to do is to remove the excess water by damping it on your basahan or your whatever it is that you're using, tissue. Now, um, if your paper is still wet, take advantage of it. And uh, we're going to smoothen it out once more, but in um, angled position. Like the, the brush is still flat, so you're going to do that on your paper, but in an angled position like this. So it would. Um, it would look like it somehow semicircle or yeah circular motion pala in the angle circular motion so see my transition here the transitions that i have here went from straight to semicircle so that's what we want take a look at the first uh one that i did so that's the one okay now i feel like i want to add some more colors so what i'm gonna do is to since it's still wet i'm just gonna um heat up the drying part so i don't have a blower but i have this mini fan so this is what i'm using yeah it's super fast lang kasi medyo patuyo na rin naman siya. and if it's not dripping it means it's not really that wet. You can just stop at the electric fan. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. So you know because the wind nga kalabas is so strong. I'm just gonna be uh gonna be adding one more layer with the same process. Using the same process. Starting with light. Now let's just play. Let's start from above. Para dumilim. So the difference between uh, when you start from light to dark and dark to light is that um, advantage ni dark since sunset ito is we're going to be covering it pa dark na, which is nice. So let's do that for the second layer. Let's start from dark to light. But in the first process, if we started from dark to light, that's really, really okay. Ang tipid-tipid ng, <laughs> ang tipid-tipid ng kulay ko, no? Teka lang, kukuha tayo. <laughs> Naawa ko sa sarili ko dun, na Okay, let's just get it from here. Uh, what am I mixing? So, I have red. And... Red and blue. Because I want 
my violet to come out. More blue. Okay. Next is just blue. So let me just uh, mix some more. Bear with me, guys. I'm not used to like uh, play with a lot of colors. I mean, kukunin yung pigment. So, because I'm used to um, tipid tipid myself. <laughs> All right. I'm getting the purple now. So, when you're doing the second layer, a circular motion na when you add, okay? Just want to make this more dark. Cleaning the brush right now because I don't want to mix it with the orange that yet. Okay, and at this point, for the yellow, I'm not going to be getting uh, anything because from orange, when you like smoothing it out, it still has colors. I'll just add some more here and I think that's perfect enough for me. Oops. Okay. And as you notice, habang pababa, na fade na siya. And that's what you want to achieve. So at this point, just let it dry. When it's dried, it, it would be good. Wait now. Let me just fix something here. I think I lifted it. Okay. I'm just going to speed up. And uh, what I used when I practiced it was purely black. And I think it would be better if it's just like grayish or purplish. So we're, we're going to do that instead. So it would go with a, with a, it would match with a guy, you know, or with the color of, or the vibes of the sunset. Kilim in Filipino. I like that. Okay. Pati yung inang natin kasi. We're not gonna put clouds anymore because I'm portraying like a clear sunset. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I think that's okay. So let's just mix um, red and blue to make purple. So more blue, no? But this time it will be just um, 
let's see let's see which is better for now we're gonna be mixing it na uh, tea consistency okay purple purple light 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 meron yan <laughs> it looks like wala no but when i actually ayoko kasing masayang and then i'm not gonna be using it later so but for you you can since you paint and bake uh you can actually mix a lot so just don't be intimidated by how much my <laughs> watercolor is make sure you have a lot because i know you paint big so right now i have purplish color very light same like ano uh, dito sa upper portion natin let's just see if um this silhouette would be better than pure black okay kasi yung pure black it looks like um, malungkot or i made it malungkot so what we're gonna do is to have like um bunch of uh trees on both sides so if you're using a round brush just dab it Okay, I think this is much better because from light we can just add dark portion. So I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing, and may mga palabas na dahon dahon, loose. So I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Um, it doesn't matter if they're pantai or not. So the space is like one third as well so when you divide this part into three just take the two thirds i know magka each each side so bali one third ano ba ang gulo ko basta one third each <laughs> oh tawa ko sa yun nina <laughs> <laughs> Gulong-gulong na ako sa buhay ko eh. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... Uh -huh. I'm liking the second part because it's not too dark. The silhouette is not that dark. Um, and I like that. But I'm just gonna be adding some uh, dark portions. Like what we did uh, when Michelle uh, did her demo. Diba? She put darker... Uh, portions the trees that's what we're gonna do as well so puro pag may mix ako no kasi ang konti ng kulay ko teka lang one minute guys I'm... I don't know what happened pa pero parang wala sa alam mo yun rhythm yung yung kamay mo maybe because the year just started I think all of us, I know, Nina, is like that. No, parang ano, parang mm. you want it, you want to do it, but ewan ko. You have to force yourself, <laughs> eh. But you don't, you don't have the urge yet, no? Oo, parang walang kapangyarihan ba? Yes, parang <laughs> powers. <laughs> walang speed, <laughs> masanib, ganun. <laughs> Dapat pala kay Nina, nag-ano muna tayo. <laughs> the concentrate on anyway okay so i have the darker shade this is uh, uh creamy consistency <laughs> all right so what i'm doing is just is i'm just adding darker portion to adding first layer So just leave some spaces na lang para it would show like the first layer is malayo. So 
So on my first uh, trial, I painted like uh, um, something from the from afar, parang mountains siya. But I'm not gonna do it here. I'm just gonna focus on the bridge, just to give na it has an ending, you know, because it, it's circular. Just to give like it is a circle or it is round i made something to on sa likod but that's okay it's not gonna um matter but if you want you can do that as well so i'm going to zoom in because we're gonna why can't i zoom in ah hanggang dyan lang daw sabi ng phone ko sorry we're gonna do the bridge Super liit lang niya. The mixture that we will be using is the second one, the creamy consistency. We didn't have to sketch. <laughs> okay. Handles muna, no? Handles. It's okay. If it bleeds, don't a tree, that's perfectly fine. Semi smile. Semi smile. And super smile. Now the step. It's okay if it's not ano, pantay pantay, because this is a hanging bridge and it's not really pantay. The way I want it, it's not really pantay. Oh. So there's your bridge. Now I'm just gonna be mixing darker. Uh, Yeah, darker for our hawakan. So, um, semi smile. Um, ano bang tawag doon? Oh, basta semi smile, hindi super smile. Kasi the super smile is like this. <laughs> Wait lang. Ha. Okay. Semi smile lang. And then the super smile is like that. No, okay. Semi smile. One third again of your pole. Semi smile again. You might wanna put some darker shades to adding holes so it would be more visible and then thin line the babanang bridge and another one another super thin sababa. that's why we want a pointy round brush because the point can be used for detailing Okay, and then lastly, paghiwa-hiwalay natin yung steps by lapit ko na lang yung ano painting kasi I cannot zoom it in anymore. Paghiwa-hiwalay natin the steps by um defining yung gilid both sides. Dark lang. Ay, dot lang. And I think that's it. Wait. As you notice, it became darker because I added like a 
detail sa ating bridge. That's why parang lumutang na siya dun sa ating um, trees. So what we're gonna do para mas lumutang yung trees para magbigay ng illusion that your hanging bridge is right behind it or in the middle of it is to use the same shade that we just used and just to add darker um, portion to adding tree. You can use um, round brush or flat brush. That's okay. See, it becomes nasa gitna or nasa likod. Yeah. So that's it. And um, just to end the the demo, or um, this is actually option. I'm really sorry, ha. Talaga yung words talagang literally gumaganon sa ano ko utak ko. Tapos parang nakikita ko sila. Tapos di ko alam ko ano yung unahin kong sabi. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm gonna be using a smaller round brush. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay, smaller round brush. Just Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Just to splatter, no? Parang pa-konting stars lang. Makonti lang, konti lang talaga, as in konti lang. So this is optional. If you want to have that, that's perfectly fine because I am a fan of uh, doing the splatter, lalo na yung kapag maliliit lang na splatter. So yeah, that's it. Just to give it like... Uh, a uh, nice volume sa taas since it's just plain variegated wash. So that's it. I think um, when doing the silhouette, just want to share this with you. I was contemplating about it earlier while I was eating. That uh, the darker your background is, yung silhouette nyo would look good if it's dark as well. So in my case, the first trial that I did, it's, as as you notice, hindi siya ganun ka dark, di ba? Because I want to achieve the subtle, ano lang, colors lang. So, just remember that the darker your background is, the dark your silhouette must be. So, since we're using, like, uh, mild colors, we're, we are also going to be using mild uh, colors for the silhouette, which is better when you mix your primary colors. So yeah, that's it. Babawi ako next month. Next month, nasa aligned na yung utak. <laughs> utak ko. But thank you so much for uh, your time. I hope you painted along with me as well. Uh, and before I forget, we're gonna be announcing the winners, no? Yep. The winners for... So, uh, wait. It's on my other phone. I'll just get this. I'll stop the video muna so I can show you. Okay, okay. So I have the list of names. Just a moment. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go with the members first. Nina? Yes? They're submitting. Oh, why? Okay. Ready lang eh. Sige lang. Wait lang ha. Ah, sige. Sige, while I'm um, doing the Wheel of Names. Sige lang. Mag Wheel of Names ka muna. Yeah. I will show their work while you're doing the Wheel of Names. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Where is you? Oh, uh huh. There you are. <laughs> okay. And then I need to refresh again. There. Okay. Let me just fix. Okay, there. Ay, ang, gal ang galing. 
Okay, wait. Siyempre, pati yung layout, kuha. Okay. Kaya pala mga tahimik, no? Yep. Okay, this one is from Susan. Nice, nice Susan. Parang nalula ako ang taas, pero I know it's nice, it's nice. Kasi um, it's good yung sinasabi ko kanina to uh, separate the sky, yung horizon natin. You did not put that, which is very good. Kasi na-define na mataas yung hanging bridge mo. That's super nice. Maybe just ano lang, the transition between orange and blue, you can thin that out pa. But I like the colors. It, it is ano, bursting ang ganda. Okay, thank you. So I'll put over, I'll put blue over it. No na, it's okay na, it's okay. When you do this, uh, when you do this again, kasi when you, ano, when you add pa another layer, mm -hmm. it is gonna be uh, messy. Yeah. Kasi you already have your silhouette. But if you're gonna do it again, make yeah. sure that the smoothening of orange and the transition of orange and blue is smoothened out. But overall, like that, oh, yung transition mo ng yellow going to ano, orange, that is a very smooth one. So, might as well do that with orange and blue. Nakatakot kasi si orange and blue eh. Ano oh, yan kasi eh? hindi sila. Oh, <laughs> kaaway sila. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. This is Marinella's work. I, I think she's not done yet, but yep. you're, uh, it's too big, no? Ang ganda. Ang ganda pag malaki talaga. Mm -hmm. And I like the strokes. You follow the circular motion. I think it's nice that, I know, her blue and orange mix together. Look, oh. Yes. That's the gray it produces. Very subtle lang. Yes. That's right. I have question lang. Go. Yes, go. Yung, yung silhouette, is uh, that okay na? Or do kulang, I still Marinella. have? Kulang. Kulang pa. Ah, kulang. Kasi uh, oh, malapad yeah. yung paper ko. <laughs> Hindi. It okay, I mean, yung darker. size. I mean, yung size. Yeah, perfect. Ah, okay. So I can put Mahaba darker. Mahaba lang yung bridge mo. O, yun nga lang. Parang oh. ayaw ko. <laughs> Mahaba yung smiling face mo. Parang mo. mahirap ng ano eh. Walang sinusundan yung bridge. Kaya mo ah, yan. Nanginginig kamay ko. <laughs> Sige, let's see, dear. Okay. Thank you. Ito, Nina. Ang ganda. Kuwang-kuwa niya. Oh! This is Lala, Len. Parang nag-photocopy. <laughs> yeah, ang galing. Para siyang printer. Mm -mm, that's I nice. I can't has... say anything. Len, you have BS, no? You use BS for this. Ano yun? <laughs> Daniel Smith, sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, kaya kuha niya eh. Ah, that's why. Ganda. And... Thank you. And, Broken yung bridge and, ko. Yes, that's okay. I think, <laughs> ano, I think you have to report that to the government. Kasi puro yung bridge. <laughs> but it's nice. It's okay. It's, it's, that's what I want nga eh, yung broken, broken. The Chinese novel na pinapanood ko, Chinese drama, normal yan. Kasi yung, <laughs> yung bida makakakross. Tapos sa itong kalaban babagsak doon sa baba. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. Yeah, they're all gonna die there. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, oy, ang ganda pala, no? Kapag, uh, I don't know, is that tail of blue or turquoise? Ang ganda pala pag yun yung ginamit. This one is sandy shirt. Ang ganda. Ooh. It's, I know, it's interesting. You used a different color for the bridge. Uh, that, that's cute. Um, maybe just add darker dabbing pa dun sa trees. Kagaya nung dark color sa bridge. But overall, I like the transition of your colors. It's like papunta na sa galaxy. I like it. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Nice. This one is from Donna. Yes, I like that. Maybe just add na lang dito sa left side ng 
tree natin ng dark, darker pa. Tsaka dun sa middle part nung uh, tree sa right. But overall, it looks good. Yan yung sinasabi ko is that, ano, tail of blue or turquoise. Maganda pala siya. Turquoise to. Mm, it's yeah. parang, basta ang ganda. <laughs> yung palette ni Donna. Ano, icy. Malamig, malamig sa icy. Oh. <laughs> malamig sa mata. It's so nice to see their ano no work. Nakakatuwa. Oo. Oh, oh. This one is Tita Lorna. Very mute. Oh, that That's nice. See? See what I'm saying is that when your background is dark, it goes with darker silhouette. And that's the best example for that. Kasi she used the same colors to create this one. Or darker I, kasi. I think it's darker kasi. But uh -huh. yeah, that that's the ano the other output I was talking about. Okay. This one is Glenn. Ang hinhin, Glenn. Aray! Ang hin -hin. <laughs> ganda ng bridge niya. Ang pantay-pantay. Oh. I like it. Pero baka mahulog yung ano, dadaan kasi uh, the other pole, it's not too visible. So you might wanna um, put darker markings or details dun sa front um, railing or handles. But I like it. And um, this is kind of different kasi yung uh, trees niya are purple talaga. I like the color in the middle. Para siyang kakaibang season. That's, that's nice. All you have to do is to darken yung ano in front of your bridge, yung harapan ng uh, bridge, just to just to make it stand out na nasa front siya. But it's nice. Okay, Nina, that's the. I was talking. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Ang sipag pala nila. Kaya pala yeah. sila tayimik. Okay. So, I can't share screen. I'm just gonna show you. Ito siya sa isang phone ko. Pasensya na kayo. The other phone that I have is so kawawa lang. <laughs> okay. So, this is uh, this is for the members that we have who made sale. Yes. Who made sale sa ating December live. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw the name and you will win a 6x6 photo book, simple book from photo book. I will be sending you the uh, the code so you can claim it on their app. And a petal brush. That's a triangle brush from Princeton. So let's see. This is for the members. Hmm. I have grass, grass polientes. So you are our winner for the Congratulations. members. And for our subscribers, wait long time. We have a lot for our subscribers. So, Tana, you will win an 8x8 canvas, which you can ano, ha, print your name. I print your name. Print your artwork. Oh, diba? That was posted uh, as a wall decker. Hey, we na. Len! Oh Len. my God, ang swerte naman ang mga to. Len, Len, Len. <laughs> And a petal brush as well. So I'll be sending you your prizes. Um, Yay! <laughs> just ano, ping me your shipping details. Congratulations! Yay! Okay, so now um we're going to draw the winner for this ano uh for Michelle's. Ikaw na nga Michelle. Raffle. <laughs> 
Oy, sumali ako. <laughs> Oo, oh, nakita ko nag-comment ka. <laughs> Walang iya kay dalawa. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry. <laughs> Kasi sabi ko, naniwala siya kay ano. Michelle. <laughs> Wait lang. Hello, may ano... Pag hindi mo sinari, lagot ka sa akin. <laughs> Hala, o oh, sige, ilalagay ko na name mo. <laughs> okay, so let me try and share my screen. Hmm. Mm. Siyempre, na-stop ko yung video. Hala, sorry. Ayun, share screen. Okay. Oh my God. Desktop ba? Desktop ba? Advanced basic. Wow, ano to? Ano, wag advance oh. basic lang. Hello. Open. Basic. Okay. Share screen. Can you see it? No, of course not. Not yet. <laughs> One participant can share. Sorry, can guys. Share. Uh, ano na? You can share. Go host ke. Yeah. Uh, Google you should Chrome. be able to. Hold and shift. Okay. Wow. Okay. Sorry, ha, guys. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to leave. Muntik na ako mag-leave. Hello. Share sound. Again, Michelle. Share sound. Slides portion. Okay. I'm really, really bad at this. Beth and Nina know this. Hold shift to select multiple. No, I don't like. Open system. You still can't see it, no? Can't he? Ayun, hindi siya kasi lumabas. Wait. Can you hear me? Yes. Pero choppy lang, Michelle. Na- Naglulo ko yung internet ko eh. Uh, Are you okay. sharing? I'm trying to share. I can't see it. Okay. Here's the thing. Beth, can you allow me? to go inside our Zoom. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go manually using my phone and then pakita ko na lang yung um, pakita ko na lang yung screen ko kasi it's on my laptop. Suspense, guys. <laughs> okay, get in. Okay, hold on, ha? Because I was able, I was able to use that using my laptop before, but this one I cannot. Okay, so Zoom, join Zoom meeting, and then passcode. Who's excited? Ako. <laughs> okay, okay. Join video. I gotta join with video. But then, okay. Beth, I'm trying to log in using my phone. Can somebody let me in? Or maybe I can let myself in. I let you in. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Admitting. Ayan. All right. Can you see? Can you see me? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kita niya. Kita niya. It's not in spotlight. Yeah. Okay. So hindi siya ganon ka <laughs> ka clear, guys. But okay, just to show you that we are doing a live a live draw. Okay. So I was able to write 24 entries, 25 dapat, but then one was disqualified because she's a member, the aficionados. <laughs> okay, let's do the draw. <laughs> Janine Maureen. Si Janine? Congratulations, yes, Janine. Congrats, congrats. Oi, Janine, bakal nama. Hari, 
PM mo na lang si Janine. PM Janine, Nina, you can PM Janine to ask her if she wants to share the prize with you. Kasi, kasi tatlo yun, di ba? Tatlong tins yun plus the one inside the knapsack. Congrats, Janine! Dead air. Ano nangyari? May dumaan na. Sorry. My internet is so bad. Sobra. Ooh, okay, okay. So anyway, yeah, that's, so guys. That's, that's the one for me. Congrats to all the winners. Wait. Can we have a photo lang? Sure, Ness. New Year photo. <laughs> New Year photo. Can everyone um turn on their videos? Let's have a photo for... The new year. Hi, salamat. Ay, I'll get my artwork. Hindi <laughs> kita yung artwork ko. Ito na yung artwork ko. Tada! <laughs> Ay, guys, I'm so sorry, ah. I forgot to paint the tip of the posts. Add nyo na lang. <laughs> okay. Diyos ko, Lord. Sana mag-hold up konti internet ko. Okay, so Lorna and other Nina. Okay, there we go. Okay, one, two, three. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Wait lang, lumabas your internet connection. One, two, three. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy Sandy New Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>